Hi, I'm Renee Suzanne of Renee Suzanne Coaching, and today I want to talk to you about how to get a guy who will step up, for heaven's sake, right? Because you want one of those if you're watching me. Here's what to do. First of all, if you're really sure that you want to be in a long-term relationship, married or living together or having kids or whatever it is that you're looking for, you need to put your intentions in your profile. And if this scares you, I want you to look at why. Because seriously, having your intentions in your profile will save you some time. And you wanna put those in your profile in a nice, friendly way, not in a way where you're ranting or telling people not to contact you if they don't want X, Y, Z, but just in a man-friendly way. like. I'm looking for the love of my life, or I'm looking for my last first date, or something sweet and romantic and nice that's like totally you, that lets the reader know, hey, this girl's looking for something real. You're, you're, you're not looking for just whatever happens and to just see how things go. When you put, I want to meet someone and see how things go in your profile, you're sounding super noncommittal and like you're not looking for anything special and you're just going to go wherever the winds take you, which if that's how you really feel, then awesome, you do that. But if you're really looking for a long-term relationship, marriage, living together, kids, that is not in your best interest. You need to put something in your profile that indicates that you are looking for what you're looking for, okay? And um, also, another thing you want to do is please, as an aside, please talk to your dates on the phone, screen them before you meet them. That is super important. It uplevels the entire energy of the relationship because they'll know that they they can't just order you up like pizza. You're not just sitting around waiting for someone to hit you up on Tinder and you're going to show up at the bar that night. Uplevel yourself by making yourself a little, like, like there is a bar that has to be set. And again, this is not playing games. This is valuing yourself. So please be willing to do that. And once you are on that first date, or please by the second and definitely by the third, ask what kind of relationship he's looking for. And honestly, I always, when I was single, preferred to do this on the first date so that we would establish right away what was going on and the truth can be out there before any serious investments have been made on either side. And so I always asked on the first date what kind of relationship he was looking for. And again, in a friendly, non-confrontational way, like I would say something like, oh, so, Mike, I, I see that you've been divorced. Do you still believe in, in love and marriage? Are you still, is that still something that you would be interested in if the right person came along? That kind of thing. And you can make it lighthearted. You don't have to make it an interrogation. But getting the topic out there is going to give you some information that you really, really need. And if you, if this scares you, as it did me, when I first started doing this, I was really scared to do that. But honestly, it comes better with practice. It's just something that you get used to saying. And it will get easier with time. But if you're terrified of doing this and you're refusing to do this and you're sort of chafing at the idea of it, ask yourself why and maybe even journal about it, talk to someone about it, write me an email. I'm at Renee at ReneeSuzanneCoaching.com. What's up with your resistance to doing this? Because that might give you some clues as to why you've been dating people who won't step up because having the courage to out yourself in this way is going to save you so much drama and hassles in your relationship about guys not stepping up trust me you will never again waste a year with a guy who won't step up and drives you insane and that you have to have multiple tearful conversations with before you finally have to break up with him in the end you please it's if you think this is hard that's way worse okay so just be willing to do this it does take some courage but i know you have it in you it's so much easier than having terrible tearful relationships with guys who don't want to commit to you and believe me i've done it so you know what being married is awesome and if you want to be married be woman enough to admit it be willing enough 
be willing to admit it to yourself and to other people. You don't have to scare people and run around after them and scream at them that you want to be married or anything psychotic, but be willing to admit that you want this. It's okay. It's totally okay to want whatever it is that you want. You are here on this planet. You, you go for everything else you want in life, the jobs you want, the apartment or the house you want, the deg degree you wanted. Why not go for marriage if you really want it or a long-term relationship if you really want it? There should be no shame in wanting that. And I am here to bust that myth to pieces because it drives me insane. Um, so that's my rant. So yes, I do rant and I'm married. <laughs> so once you establish that he is wanting a real relationship and... Um, you want to find out if he wants, if he can see having those things with you, and that's not a first date question, by the way. So um, you you can establish that early on that he wants a relationship, but sometimes it's easy to get in the habit of, well, he said on a, on our first date that he wanted to get married someday, and six months later, and he still you still don't even know if he's your boyfriend. And that's what I'm talking about trying to avoid here. So definitely within the first few weeks or definitely months of this budding relationship, things should be gelling. He should be calling you on a very regular basis, you know, hopefully working up to every day that you guys are on the phone together. Hopefully you're seeing each other at least once a week, hopefully more. Hopefully he sees having these things with you and he's getting ready to ask you to be his girlfriend if that hasn't happened already. And if that hasn't happened within like three or so months, you do want to ask some questions. You really do. Does he see you as girlfriend material or is he just hanging out until he finds somebody that he really wants to have that with? And that again does take courage, but it's way better to understand what you're dealing with early on rather than spend months and months or even years with someone that you're always hoping will step up, that you're always just about at wit's end with or frustrated with. This is no fun for you or him. So please have the courage to go for what you want, to ask the questions that you need to ask and understand this for yourself. And if he doesn't want what you do, you don't need to make him wrong or yell at him or fuss at him. You just need to understand and believe what he's telling you is true. And then go find someone who wants what you do. And I promise you, you will. Don't waste years of your life with someone who doesn't want what you want. Find someone who does. There are 7 billion people on this planet. There are so many wonderful guys who are going to be thrilled to see that your profile says you're looking for the love of your life, who are going to be excited that you're looking for a real long-term relationship. They're going to want that with you. That's your guy. That is your guy, not Mr. I don't know what I want and I just got out of a relationship and I want to, you know, get my MBA and three PhDs before I settle down with someone at the age of 75. No, that's not your guy. Forget that, okay? If he tells you he doesn't want it or kind of waffles about it, believe him and find someone who does because that's what you want. Be willing to have your own back in this life. Be willing to ask the questions you need to ask and find out what you need to find out to admit what you want and go for your dream of love because I will tell you what, being married to the right guy is freaking awesome. I am so happily married and I'm really glad that I stood for myself in this way and asked what I needed to ask and found a great guy. And there was never even one tearful conversation about my husband stepping up and being my boyfriend or proposing or, or any of that. We were always on the same page. We always knew where things were going. I always felt safe and loved and comfortable and happy with him. And that is what I want for you. So be willing to stop seeing anyone who doesn't share your relationship goals. No tearful conversations, no confrontations, no, if they let you know that this is not where things are headed and that's what you want. It's a definite peace out, move on, find someone who wants what you want. And I promise you he was out there. He's waiting for you. He's going to be so happy to meet you and I still want that for you. So get the support you need in this. Sometimes it really is a handful. I myself worked with a coach when I was single who helped me so much and it was worth definitely worth the investment that I made to learn how to do this right. So be willing to invest in yourself to have the courage to stand for what you want and deserve. I so want this for you. 
If you like this video, definitely subscribe so that you'll be notified when more are available. And go to my website, reneesuzannecoaching.com, and get my free course, Five Steps to Finding Love of Your Life. I know you're going to love it, and it will help you in this process of finding love because it's so worth it. I want you to have it. It is easy once you know how. It really is so much easier than you think. Please stop waiting for it to just happen and take action toward the life that you want and deserve. Thank you so much for watching.